On Saturday night, October 19th, live on HBO from Denver, Colorado, two of the boxing game's most entertaining fighters, Mike Alvarado and Ruslan Provoknikov, will meet for Alvarado's WBO light welterweight title. These two athletes are the type of blood and guts warriors fans around the world hold very dear. We're now going to the ConcreteJungle.com's Tommy Elias for more. Tommy D, first, welcome, homie. And next, break down this fight for us, dog. Alvarado versus Provodnikov. Wow, I've been waiting for this fight since I heard about it. Um, I, I expect to see action. I expect to see uh, a war, but a calculated war, a strategic war, uh, a battle. Main, main, main focus here is we're going to see ex exciting fight. Um, both of these guys have done a nice little body of work to get to this point. Uh, obviously, uh, Provodnikov has a little chip on his shoulder because... Although he said he went back and watched the fight with Bradley and realizes that he did lose, he has enough people supporting his idea that he thought he won to gain that confidence and not let it ruin his, you know, his party. In other words, he's going to come out and make an exciting fight. And uh, he's, you know, he's one of those guys you see, you know, Friday night fights and stuff like that. You know, he knocked out Manuel Augustus, who's like, you know, the drunken master. Everybody knows who he is. Demarcus Corley, he beat him in Russia. That was like a really big thing for him, for his people. Um, you know, Mike Alvarado, on the other hand, you know, he, I remember he, when he fought Martinez, I said, wow, that guy's going to be pretty good. You know, he already, I think, beat Mike Dallas and Herrera. You know, he beat Herrera. He, he knocked out Prescott, you know, pretty much enough said. You know, he's smaller than Prescott, you know, shorter, everything. And, you know, he knocked him out. I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine that happened. And, uh, and it did, you know. And the, the two fights with um, Rios. Wow, you know, this guy, put it this way, Mike Alvarado has a win uh, in 2007 over Carlos Molina, who's today a 154-pound champion. So I don't think people should sleep on Mike Alvarado. A lot of people are saying Provodnikov by KO, uh, War, Ruslan, you know, all this stuff, but this is going to be a fight for sure. The WBO title is on the line, but besides that, what else is on the line for these two beasts? What does a win really mean for either fighter? Well, a win for Provodnikov would mean that he has action on, you know, basically um, a lot of fights like, uh, say, the winner of, uh, I think both of them have action for the winner of Brandon Rios versus Matty Pacquiao and would be, you know, a good fight, except uh, Provodnikov versus Bradley 2 can happen. And I think it will. I think Tim Bradley, I don't think he's scared of anybody. I think he thinks that, you know, he could beat Provodnikov probably quicker this time. I don't know. But I think that could happen. So I think that would be the biggest upside for Provodnikov. Uh, a win for Mike Alvarado, on the other hand, I think there's more upside to that. I think uh, people already seen him versus Brandon Rios in one and in two. And they're they're thirsty for more. You know, that was the, the one was a bloodbath. Number two was more of a strategic um battle, but it was a battle and it was an exciting fight, you know, fight fight one of the fight, fight of the year. But, you know, I think that if uh Brandon Rios pulls off the upset victory over Pac Man that uh, Mike Alvarado versus Brandon Rios 3 can and will happen, you know, that's a huge fight, but um, this, you know, we know about Top Rank and Golden Boy, we know about HBO and Showtime, so let me read off a list of fighters that are under that banner and could fight easily, uh, we're talking about Kareem Mayfield, Tim Bradley, Jesse Vargas, uh, Manny Pacquiao, Brandon Rios. There, there's guys out there for them to fight. And uh, this fight right here is a really it's a spotlight fight because once you make this fight and make it exciting for the people, everybody's going to want more of you. And uh, Provodnikov, even though he lost in the Bradley uh, fight, he's, his stock raised and it, it raised substantially so much that people know who he is now and they think he's going to win by knockout, you know? And that's just America for you, you know? We lust for the blood, the knockouts, the stretcher, the smelling salt, you know? We, we want to see that stuff. We miss those Tyson days. So this is going to be a super exciting fight, and there's plenty upside for either guy. Big question. Provoknikov recently hired the services 
of Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach. We've seen Ruslan Provodnikov's confidence build up and his defense got better in the ring. But Freddie will be absent this weekend in Ruslan Provodnikov's corner. Do you think this will affect Ruslan in the fight? I think it won't. I think it won't. You know, Freddie Roach is a great, you know, um, you know, legend in boxing as a trainer, you know. And um, he uh, he's not there this weekend. I don't think it'll have any effect on Provodnikov, really. I mean, Provodnikov, there's nothing really high-tech about him, you know. He can, you know, throw a jab here and there, but he wants to hit you. He wants his pound of flesh, and uh, he, he craves for a knockout. So I think... Um, it won't have that much effect. He's such he's such a serious guy. If you ever met him, you know he's so focused. He looks at you, but you know he he really wants to get in there and work. You know he would do it twenty four seven if he could. So I believe it will have little to no effect. Plus, like I said, he had that you know he has that grudge you know with people. He wants. He wants them to know that he can knock out Tim Bradley. He wants them to know he can knock out Mike Alvarado. You know, he really strong-minded young man. And I think, you know, Roach not being there will have little to none effect. We have seen Mike Alvarado in wars and bloody boxing classics. Has he been in too many of them where maybe one more war could end his career? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say, you know, uh, Rios versus, you know, go back to the Prescott fight. That that was deep, you know. But before that, he was just beating guys, you know, like Herrera. You know, Mike Mike is a great boxer. That people don't give Mike credit, like they they weren't giving Danny Garcia credit, you know, for his boxing skill. The man is bad, and people have been watching Mike Alvarado for a long time. Sorry, America, that you weren't. But you need to you need to do your homework on Mike Alvarado. Because the man, like I said, he's not only one of uh, the best Mexican boxers, he's one of the best boxers in boxing today. He's, he's sharp, he's agile, he's hostile, he's mobile. The dude can get it done. And he's fighting at home, too. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, Mike Alvarado... You know, he's only been in a, in, in a couple of really war. The, the the two with Rios, the one with Prescott, he was losing. That that was a great fight, but he's still young and he's still hungry, and uh, he's shown that he can adapt and uh, make changes. So I'm gonna say no, he hasn't been in too many wars. All right, Dizzle, finally close this out, homie. Your prediction for the fight? My prediction of the fight is Alvarado by unanimous decision. Um, I myself think that uh, people are a little too thirsty for that KO, just wanting to see it, you know, like high school, you know, everyone wants to see someone get knocked the out, but, you know, in this case, I think they're going to have to wait into the fight. Mike Alvarado is going to outclass Wesley Provodnikov. He's going to do it with uh, boxing strategy, footwork, timing, um, you know, a lot of hard work. He, he's at home. You know, he's he's in Denver, Colorado, you know. Um, his family, his friends, you know, his his fans, you, you know, this is his time to shine, and I think he will. So I'm taking Mike Alvarado by unanimous decision.